When you're asked to multiply or divide radical expressions, meaning they have square roots, it's a lot like distributing and foiling. Those are the ideas you're going to keep in mind. Remember, foil means when you have two binomials, you multiply the firsts, the outers, the inners, the lasts, that's what foil stands for, and then combine like terms. Before you start, there's a couple things I want to show you to keep in mind. The first thing is that if you were to see something like square root of 9 times square root of 9, you could do that problem, right? Square root of 9 is 3, square root of 9 is 3, so your answer would be 9. Check it out, that was your radicand all along. Same idea with things that have non-integer square roots, like square root of 10. Square root of 10 is some nasty decimal, I don't know what it is. But I do know that square root of 10 times square root of 10 equals regular old 10. That's really important. Or to generalize it, square root of x times square root of x equals x. That's going to become really important when you start multiplying square roots. Again, just keep in mind what you already know about distributing and use FOIL if you have a binomial.